everybody, Lyle CNS Corvettes here on a sunny day here in Florida. Uh, I'm gonna do a little walkthrough on the shop just to show you some of the cool things we got going on today. Everybody here is at lunch, so it's quiet, and now's the time to do it. Let me walk you through some of the cars we're working on right now, just to give you an idea of what things look like here on a daily basis. Let's look at the car behind me first. Okay, so this is a C5Z06 that we have pulled the transaxle and the torque tube out of uh, to investigate a strange vibration that we're getting since doing the torque tube. What we discovered was this car was uh, modified and had an LS3 put in it. However, whoever put the LS3 into the car did not modify the engine mounts so that it would mount correctly thereby changing the angle at which the engine and the torque tube mated, thereby causing the pilot bearing to get chewed up. So we're going in today, pulling that pilot bearing, and gonna see if we can't, now that we've settled the engine out and modified the, hint, the, uh, the mounts so that the engine will sit where it's supposed to, that should solve that particular problem. But always an adventure here. And anytime I talk about torque tubes and stuff, this is what you have to pull out of the car to get to the back of the engine, the clutch, anything on a C5, C6, C7. Moving into the shop, got a couple of interesting cars in here. Right here we have a 71 big block that is going to Germany eventually after we get done doing a few things on it. Still have our customer 72 project in the air here. This car uh, got a new fuel-injected Holly Sniper type crate motor that we are currently doing all the ECM wiring and the custom fuel tank and all that stuff. And uh, the car doesn't look pretty right now, but this is going to be a very nice car when it's done. Hopefully have it running and drivable by the end of the year. Below it, you can't really see it under the cover, is a 69 big block tri-power convertible. Uh, that car's engine decided to become a water pump and basically filled the entire block with water, filled the oil pan with water, uh, not very happy. We pulled the engine out of it yesterday, uh, took it over to the machine shop to get uh, a good look at what's going on and to get it rebuilt. And that car is gonna go home and live in the customer's garage until the engine is done. Moving over here, we have a 64 coupe automatic car, custom wheels and tires. Um, Let's move it around over here. Right now we got the carburetor off to have it rebuilt and uh, we're going to put a phenolic spacer on there because he was getting some fuel boiling from the heat coming through the intake manifold. Pretty common on these old cars if they don't already have a phenolic spacer it's time to put one on. Otherwise really cool. This guy, younger guy, daily drives this car when he's not working as a contractor overseas and uh, this is just a lovely, lovely car to drive. And I think it's gonna give him years of great service once we get a few of the little bugs worked out. And then, my favorite car in the shop right now, 63 Split Window Coupe. Uh, this gentleman bought this car about a year ago at an auction. Um, it's a very, very nice car. It's a beautiful car. Uh, got a few little things going. In fact, if you look in here, you can see that the dash is torn apart. And if you look closely, you can see that a lot of all of the bulbs that go into the cluster have been replaced with LED so that he can actually see his gauges at night. And we also did a uh, tachometer rebuild because the tachometer had gone, uh, I think the technical term is kablooey. But this car, yeah, a black, black 63 split window. Always, always a classic. I'm heading back out here. Go to the showroom, show you some of the stuff that's going on in there too. Got a couple of our own cars for once that we're working on. Let's walk through. This is our eBay and shipping area. More parts. Moving into the showroom. This is one of our cars. This is an original 1972 big block car, uh, red, automatic, but it is no longer an original big block engine because it has 
Yeah, that. That's going to be a real, real runner by the time we get it running. I figure we've got uh, three weeks worth on this car before this car is on the road, but this car is going to be a sweet driver, especially with the automatic. It means I get to drive it. Some of the other stuff. You can see our Sebring track car that's currently awaiting another tune to get the engine to go above five grand, which would make driving it on the track a lot more fun. And let's see what else here. This is another car we have for sale shortly. This is a 73 four-speed small block coupe. This car had zero options on it. No AC, no power steering, no power brakes, and that's the way it was ordered from the factory. Uh, we're gonna offer it as it is, but if somebody decides they want power brakes or they want uh, you know, uh, power steering, any of that stuff, we'll be more than capable of adding that on for them at that time. And lastly in the showroom today, which I know you've seen it before, this beautiful 1961 Corvette. That's a low horse car. Uh, it is an automatic and it has power windows, which make it pretty rare. It's what we call the banker's wife's car because this would have been something that at this time was most likely driven by a lady. And if you look closely, you'll see that that beautiful steering wheel is the smaller diameter aftermarket unit so that people who are above 5.5 can drive the car. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this car will be hitting the market here before too terribly long. Other than that, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I am headed to Sebring International Raceway this weekend. My son is driving his racing Mustang uh, in a 14 hour Enduro, and I'm gonna be exhausted and broke, but we should have a good time. I hope everybody's having a good week. I hope everybody's happy and healthy, and I will see you guys again next week. You guys take care. Bye.